What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay from Brother Cousins Toy Reviews. And today I am going to be giving you guys the news, all the hot, all the stuff that Hot Toys has been talking about for the last couple of days. We all know that it has been a drought and there has not been any new Hot Toys to release in about 30 days. Um, Well, they did release something today and we're going to go over that. But it's been a while. It's been a while. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into all the news that Hot Toys has provided us on their Facebook page. Starting off, here is Echo Base, and this is their new store that is in Hong Kong um, to go along with Secret Base and I believe Rebel Base, and then now it's Echo Base um, and Toy Sapiens. So I believe this is their fourth store. And it looks cool. I mean, I really want to uh, actually go ahead and like visit one of these stores one day. And here's a um, sneak peek at one of uh, two items that we'll be talking about during this video. Uh, the Batman, the reissue of the Batman Begins Batman figure, which looks, I believe they were using some new body. They're, I think they're using new body and new I think it's going to be a new skeleton underneath that body. Um, and this looks like to be a straight up re-release of the Batmobile, a.k.a. the Tumblr. And you got everybody going to Toy Sapiens. I'm sorry, uh, Echo Base. <laughs> and you see some lovely, lovely. I love these guys, the shipping guys that just brings in all the stuff. I love seeing these guys. Um, there we go. Story looks cool. They're heavily promoting Falcon and the Winter Soldier and the uh, WandaVision. Looks cool. Looks dope. Of course, they're going to show the Snyder stuff. Snyder, uh, the Zack Snyder Justice League. What you guys think of Justice League? I thought it was dope. It's funny that we see... <laughs> cyborg right there i think we're going to get a cyborg figure guys I, i'm pretty sure we will looks cool looks great uh the bucky the winter soldier yeah this winter soldier figure i i know they showed this last week and i was wondering why the hell they're not showing falcon with them well i'm guessing maybe because they don't want to spoil us um, depending on what outfit he's going to be wearing at the end of the series, so uh, or the end of the season, so uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Got the Wanda Vision figures, Bo Katan, the Mandalorian, Boba Fett, stuff we've seen before. Stuff we've seen before. Yes, yes, yes. We've seen this stuff before. Okay, so I'm just going to move along from this. That's Echo Base. Um. Hopefully one day I'll get to go there, or you guys will get to go there. Next up, let's talk about the Batmobile that they re-released. And this thing looks amazing. I mean, we got, we've got we already seen it. Um, a lot of people, um, I know we're waiting for this piece. I know a lot of people that are new to collecting didn't have the opportunity to get these pieces back in the day. So it is kind of cool that they're doing this re-release so people can pick them up. And I mean, this thing's going for like, what, six fifty? And I mean, I've seen it online for upwards from 1000 to uh, 1600 So it's good that we're able to get that, you know, for 600 bucks. I don't know if I want it exactly in my collection, but I may pre-order it just because, you know, I mean, it's, it's another opportunity. You can get it, box it up. If I don't have space, I'll sell it, you know. Um, but I do think this is great having. I, right now, I don't have any of the uh, Dark Knight or the Batman Begins figures. Um, but I think I'm going to start that collection over again. Uh, yeah, this thing looks amazing. The lights look good. And you can see right here, you have the... Uh, you have the Batman Begins figure, which I'm not sure if this is a reissue or they reconstructed it somehow. Um, I'm what I, I hope they have like some ratcheted joints in here because that's the problem with all the Batman figures because the the costume is such it's the rubber is so thick that you really can't do any real poses with them. Um, so I'm, hopefully they'll have some ratcheted joints. Technology has improved so much better since they you know since these figures were released so looks good looks great 
I know Justin uh, from Justice Collectibles just did a, a video not too long ago. I believe it was last week on the Tumblr. And he was saying something about putting Batman in here. You could do it. But if you could look right here, you could see how he's all bunched up. And even with, I have the 89 Batmobile and the 89 Keaton Batman. And I actually put my Batman, uh, put the uh, my figure in the 89 Batmobile. And yeah, it was, you had to bunch him up and twist him and get him in there. And he fit, but it's a lot of work and a lot of stress on the costume. So I wouldn't advise doing it. But yeah, this piece looks amazing. All that in the back, the shocks, you know, you get the uh the turbine looks dope, looks great. A must have if you're a big Batman fan. Moving along, we have the Batman figure, the Batman Begins figure. This thing looks great. Um yeah, like I said, it looks like they improved the uh, skeleton underneath the costume much better. Hopefully, it has ratcheted joints because that pose is this pose right here is cool as hell. Um, you get the Christian Bell head. I think the one that they showed earlier this uh, earlier year, this year or was it last year? They showed that. Um, yeah, but this this looks the new head sculpt, new improved head sculpt looks amazing. See him again with the Batmobile. The cape looks amazing, and I mean. The, the, the Batman figures, I mean, with the capes, the capes are horrible. So it looks like they're going to give us a great cape right here. I know a lot of people get the, I believe his name is the Justin Drew capes. A lot of people get those capes and up you know, and uh, upgrade them. But uh, it's good to get a nice cape out the box, Hot Toys. I mean, come on. Yeah, looks good. Definitely looks dope. This faceplate is funny. And that faceplate, what the hell? <laughs> the little caption right there is funny. <laughs> exactly. What the hell? But I believe he that's accurate. I think he did his face like that in, at one point in the movie. I, I remember seeing that. So, yeah, they, 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 wow, Hot Toys is funny. Yeah. <laughs> and here's a close up. Yep, yeah, that's what the hell. Not, not good at all. Not good at all. But got to get it. Definitely a good figure. If you're going to get the Batmobile or the Tumblr, you definitely got to get this with it. So, yeah, that just looks amazing. If you have the space for it. This is a lot of space. Very cool. Real dope. It's cool you get them in this alternate outfit. Love it. Looks great. That's cool. See, gotta have some ratchet. If he doing a casual ass pose like this, it's gotta have some ratcheted joints in the costume. I mean, come on now. Looks good. All right, moving along. Now, as you guys know, I am a Back to the Future fan to the third power. I love Back to the Future. One of my favorite movies, one of my favorite things to collect. I'm actually actually right now trying to find a way to get some uh nike mags um nike air mags i know i know guys i'm a sneakerhead and a hot toys collector which means i'm broke um okay anyway let's talk about these guys right here not into the cos babies at all or any pops or anything like that but I think I'm going to collect these. These are extremely cute. You got Biff right here with the batter up. Looks dope. Looks cool. There he is. That is cool. Oh, man. You got Donald Trump. I mean, uh, Biff Tannen from the future. Looks cool. So funny how accurate that movie was. Um, Yeah. Looks cool. Looks cool. Got to get these. Yeah, I'm collecting all of these. I'm definitely collecting all of these. Um, let me know. Leave me a comment. You, do you guys collect cos babies? Is that a thing? I know we're all like one six scale, you know, community here, and we're all about the one six scale. But uh, yeah, I mean, do you guys collect cos babies? Because I mean, I don't know too many people that do actually. But anyway, moving along. Now, as I said early on in this video. It's been a long time since we had a release from Hot Toys. It's been damn near 30 days, or has it been past 30 days? It feels like forever, because for a minute, it seems like they were coming back to back with stuff. Um, and this kind of came out of nowhere. That's right, the Batman Beyond 
Batman from the Arkham Knight game. This thing looks amazing. Honestly, I'm a Batman fan. I love Batman. I love the Arkham Knight game. But I don't care about this. I really don't. I really don't. I, I, I'm I a Star Wars Marvel guy. And I like some DC here. But I don't care about this. I don't. I don't. I don't care. I, I don't care. But I will say, it is a dope figure. It is. It looks cool. I mean, damn. I gotta admit, that looks dope. That does. It looks cool. Really looks cool. Um, I just didn't expect him to bring this out. I was expecting, I don't know, maybe something like the Flash, the TV show Flash figure. What happened to that figure? Nobody's talking about that figure. Where the hell is it at? Um, yeah, so for me, this kind of came out of nowhere. I, my, my, uh, the brother cousins. My other brother, uh, my brother, uh, my my uh, cousin of the brother cousins, my brother cousin, he collects these figures. He collects these, so I know he'll be happy. But I don't care. Well, that does look cool with the grapple gun and everything like that. This looks dope. So it's a good figure. Good figure. Good figure. Good figure. Okay, guys. So that's been just about it with. Uh, with this uh, news and um, like, share, subscribe, bang that bell notifications for all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Be on the lookout this week. I should have a collection video coming out for you guys on Thursday. I'll see you then. Peace and we are out.